one of the greatest tragedies of the church in Nigeria and Africa is blind copying and blind imitation. The moment something seems to work, people may not understand the altars and the covenants that activate those things. Everybody just jumps into it. That's why when there is failure, there is mass failure and catastrophe. Be a believer that prays over everything. If you don't trust your hearing, call on the attention of seasoned brethren who love God. Don't call a lazy believer who has never had anything for himself. The two things that he had was not God. And you say the person should pray with you. What are you going to hear from that meeting? Until God speaks, please do not move. Even if a door is open, sustain the discipline and the maturity to remain. You will discern the purpose behind what God does in everything he does. Without discernment, you will call everything that carries a negative semblance evil. There are many good things that come in a semblance that looks like evil, but it is a blessing of the Lord. Look at, you meet a woman, a young virgin, and you say, Mary, hail Mary, you are highly favored. And the next thing that happens to her is tragedy. She's about to lose her marriage. She's about to lose everything. Yet the, the angel never came to say, you are highly full of endurance. He said, you are highly favored. What in the world about Mary's life afterwards looked like favor? Yet the Bible says that is favor. There are some things that look like delay. It's because God has seen that you are not prepared for the attack that will come with that blessing. So he will suspend it until certain revelations build capacity in you. Then he will give you access to it. Authority works with knowledge. Hallelujah. There, there were many Israelites in Egypt crying for help. Why didn't God pick any one of them? And say, after all, you are Jews. Go and talk to Pharaoh. Was that how God brought deliverance? If it was all about talking to Pharaoh, why did it take 40 years to prepare one man? What is it about Pharaoh? That you must be prepared for 40 years <laughs> hallelujah serving god with your time serving god with your energy serving god with your influence serving god with your resources is a guaranteed channel to experience exemption if the purposes of God is not represented in your growth, your growth is a waste. If the purposes of God is not enhanced through your resources, then that wealth is absolutely useless from an eternal standpoint. Because nobody has died and gone out of the earth with their money or gold or jewelry or whatever. It perishes here. I told you about my experience years ago in the mortuary. They took me to go and raise a, a, a dead body in the mortuary i went the bible says you heal the sick and all these things and i went quietly i prayed for the the dead body i prayed for the dead body i prayed for the, i as far as i'm concerned everything i spoke there was correct even till today i will still do the right thing the same thing but for some reason the dead body did not come back to life i prayed a number of times and they closed me there yes And I tell you, listen, when you hear that a dead body comes back to life today, that rehearsal has been done many years ago. Don't make a mistake of believing. I need to encourage people so that when you see people's results, you don't think people just jumped into it overnight. No, sir. When your ego and yourself dies, then the glory can rise from you. You may love deliverance, but not everyone can stand before Pharaoh. There is an encounter of the burning bush and a season of training that qualifies you. The point I'm trying to make is that you must discern. There are many of you, the issues and the matters you are praying for, you do not have the spiritual capacity to receive with accuracy what you want to hear. You will need to tap into the supply of hires and experience people who have taught these dimensions of the spirit with stability and power. 
when you are, want to make sensitive decisions like leaving Nigeria or quitting your job, you don't just sit down and walk with instincts and say, I had God. It is a very serious decision. You need to dedicate yourself sometimes through fasting and prayer and even call on the attention of seasoned brethren, people who have a proven track record of hearing. That's how it works. Discernment. I'm saying this right now because there are some of you about to destroy yourselves with wrong and careless decisions. Everybody's leaving to Europe. Everybody's leaving to America. Who told you you are part of them as far as God's blueprint is concerned? Hear God first. Hear God first. Hear God first.